Hi friends, it's Shanna, Shop Glorious Day, and I am here on Saturday morning, a closing weekend at the Fall 2021 Brimfield Show, and a glorious weekend it is. So I do hope if you're just tuning in now and you're nearby that you're gonna make it out. Um, the first fall show in two years, of course last year did not happen, so the fields are bustling, the vendors are all out, just happy to be back uh, and uh, in all the enjoyments of it all. So um, I just want to give you a peek um, at where exactly I am. And then we're gonna go meet uh, May and Joe Money of MJ Artifacts, some friends of mine that are here from uh, Buffalo, New York. And they have a really diverse collection in their tent back here, right at the back of New England Motel. Um, things that they've, there's kind of a family history story to share, as well as some pieces that they, uh, that they make and a whole mix of things that I know you really enjoy. They'll also be at the uh, Roundtop show this year. So friends at Roundtop can take note um, and uh, we'll update you on where to find them also. So I'll give you just a little peek of where we are and then we'll go see May and Joe. So here we are on Saturday morning. Beautiful, sunshiny, perfect day. The main uh, road coming in from Route 20 up that way. You see the pavilion barns, one, two, three here. And, uh, and their tent is right there. So if you're looking to find them, they're literally kind of immediately uh, where you come out uh, from parking and back. And then uh, Jeff Turney, um, Lone Ranger, Swedish Antiques is there, another friend, so another and reference point for you. So we're gonna go, um, so we're gonna go say hi to May and have her show us around, but I'll just kind of give you a quick scan of their fantastic tent back here in the back corner. So it's literally right past the uh, third uh, pavilion barn. So let's go, let's go meet May and Joe. Here they are, yay, I'm so happy to be doing this finally. So May and Joe Money here from MJ Artifacts in Buffalo, New York. And let's start with, share a little bit about kind of how you ended up in the business, I guess, and, and what brings you here to Brimfield, right? So to bring us up to date, I guess, and then we'll kind of look at what you brought. Okay. And selling the pieces that they were finished. Yeah. And then it just kind of evolved. Um, it was Moni's uh, Moni's yeah, exactly. antiques. Okay. Um, since his parents have passed away in 2010, Joe kind of took it over. He's been in the business uh, since he was knee high to a grasshopper. He's always done this. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um, refinishing and building things. Very talented man. Yeah. The angel in the architecture, yeah. That's awesome. He's amazing. Um, and then we dated before. His father and my grandfather were best friends. We have since got back together, Mary. Yeah. I've been in the business out with helping with him for over 10 years. Wow, awesome. And you've been here at Brimfield for how long? Um, in this spot, I believe that we've been here three years. Okay. So we've actually closer to five years that we've been coming here. Yeah. But this is our spot yeah, love it. And it's such a great spot. I pointed out you're right near parking and straight down the road past the third pavilion. Well, show us a little bit. Maybe let's talk about this table here to start. This is one of the tables that, the common table that he built. He does a lot out of reclaimed furniture, reclaimed Wood, okay. Yeah, and he actually from a broker that he took apart. Oh, no kidding. Things that uh, we tear apart. Yeah. So that's what this is here. Um, and he built them very sturdy. Yeah, it's a, I mean, you can see how solid it is. Yeah, so nice and solid. And then on the top of the table here is something that I do. Uh, I take the scrap wood yeah. and I'll build boxes out of it. And then I actually make rugs out of them. Oh, but I love this that. is, you can see the green on it. This is actually reclaimed wood that we have. Yeah. Uh, as far as parts and pieces. Yeah, let's look at these. Houses. Yep. This is all parts and pieces that we've collected. It's a porch post, uh, a handle that's flipped upside down. These are legs that we have torn apart, some molding that was off of stuff. 
fretwork off of different pieces, right. an old nail, and then this is off of an organ. Oh, no, that is so beautiful. I love that there. And then on this one here, we actually have a door um, plate that we used. Yep. Again, more fretwork. Uh, this might have been a peg off of an old uh, um, uh, little molding off of a, like a piece of furniture. Yeah. Love that. We were, I was visiting with Jan's Junktiques over at um, Quaker Acres, and she was actually sharing, so she has a lot of parts like that. And some people who come to Brimfield don't realize everything that people do with all these miscellaneous parts that the dealers carry, too. A lot of times, I'll just throw them on, and then when yeah. I start to build these, I, I lay them out, yeah. and then I let the piece talk to me. Mm -hmm. This will go with it, or this I, just doesn't quite look right. So I do a lot of these in the springtime. These are the only two that I have left. Yeah. As you can see, uh, Joe likes large appliances. He really right. likes the old stuff. I love this too, actually. Any details you can share on that, or would he need to come over and describe it? Gosh, I love. Have to give you a little more <gasps> look at the look, though. It is. This is one of the. The best stoves that I've seen and do people use it as like a statement piece or do, does it actually is there a way to make it function in some way or we actually have both some okay people will use it as a function this is no a, kidding this is just a wood stove right that's yeah, just a wood stove okay so this would actually be the chamber here where they would put the wood okay Whoop, whoopsie hold off. yep so it would be in here but yeah. this one hasn't been burnt a whole lot so. right okay I know. <laughs> but this is a um, this is in really good shape for the age that it is. But yeah. What's the age, Joe? Do you know ballpark? It's probably about 1910. Yeah, that's so cool. And this and piece this, too is that like a fridge? This oh. is a refrigerator, um, and this is actually an electric one. This one oh. here is a 1930s. Yeah. Wow. And we picked that one up right before we came here. So that's so we cool. A lot to this one. Yeah. But it definitely is amazing. This is a piece that he has refinished yep. or repurposed. Yeah. It was an old uh, industrial cabinet, and then he put the top on it. Yeah. Um, I love that, too. Gosh. So this is just a piece that we redid. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know if you want to scan down through these or some of the antiques. And we carry all sorts yeah. of things. Let's go for We try up. to do a variety. Um, the next show that we what have. What is this? This is actually an ophthalmologist case. <gasps> this is not a real, real old one. Right. Um, you said about... Mid-70s. So mid-century. Look. But it's amazing because it has all of the little lenses... Oh, my god. ...with it. And normally you don't see that, that for it to have that many lenses. That is so cool. And then this is a pasteurizer. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. Uh, cream cool. separator. And this is a table model yeah. cream separator. You don't see a whole lot of that. Yeah. Um, you saw it. I don't know if we'll go out and do the scale. Yes, for we sure. We really, really like scales. Yeah. This is a very, very old lock set. Um, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Period, he said that the lock set was for. Look at that. Um, Joe, what was the period on the lock set? Um, those are probably um, 16th century. <gasps> yeah, no so they're, kidding. they're very old. Look at this. And you just never know oh, what we're going to find. And we have a little ladybug little, trying to A little friend hanging stay. out. So. Oh, man. It's so interesting that someone might pass that by and not realize. It, like... And if only this stuff could talk to If us, only it could, <laughs> could talk. Um, I've had that so thought very, cross my mind, actually. We don't get a lot of these in, but this is an accordion. Yeah. A gentleman came in the other day, and he actually stood here for about 20 minutes and played it. Did he? It was amazing. <gasps> Absolutely amazing. Uh, and look so. in the case and everything. How yes. cool is that? Yeah. Any idea of the age? That I don't I know. know. Yeah. Uh, Joe's better at that It's sort so of stuff. beautiful, though. What's the age on this? Yeah, on the accordion, sure do you think? Because I can't find the maker on it. Oh, gotcha. There, there's no tags on it, so I But can't. it played beautifully. Yes, it did. Oh, very well. That's so that cool. And then things like this. Like, I love something like this, a big statement piece from the circus. Yes. Unfortunately, our mannequin is a little underdressed right yes. now. Yes. Oh, we sold the shirt, but... <laughs> right. But it's all okay. So we've got all kinds of dishware, and we buy junk and sell antiques. Yes, there we I go. the shirt. Oh, really? I do. Okay. I, I print on them. I have one of the crickets, and I have several different designs here. Yeah. Um, that we 
have done just specifically for the yeah I got a bunch of these ones. Great. Those are great. This is one of my favorite. Joe likes this one yep. here, too. And Rust then, or bust. Take me junkin'. There we go. If it involves back roads, flea markets, and junkin', count me in. Ah, that's awesome. So we just try to... And those are $10. Uh, yep. This door here is another one that we put together from Reclaimed Parts. Mm -hmm. You have everything from a bed, a church pew, uh, reused... Um, two by fours yep. and then obviously the door on the back that's from an old commode on the top there and these are yeah. from a poster bed wow so we try to you know reuse as much as we can yeah love it um, this is just a re redone painted piece yep it's a great dresser this one here came pretty much original uh we just touched the did the paintwork on it and i no i'm pretty sure and then your box is up here too yes. they make and thankful of those. And they'll too. fit mason jars too. So if somebody wants oh, to put mason jars with flowers or right. pine cones, it can be used for many different All groups. kinds of fall table, claw, uh, table spreads. We call these salesman samples. These are little small cupboards that we do. And we have several That's different adorable. varieties. Um, we're low on these right now. I have yeah. this one, and I don't know if I have any other ones. And then over here, Oh yeah, these we definitely want to see. Yes, yeah, so hold one up so we can <gasps> love it. Can you see that one? Yes, yep. But this one kind of here. changes everything. And these you do uh, yourself. I do these yep. Ones. The windows okay. are too small to repurpose into other things. Yep. Kind of thing. So I thought it would be great for the holidays and everything. Yes, I love these. This one is Look a it. pumpkin one. Pumpkin spice and all things nice. Those are fabulous. Uh, we have this nice Christmas, and I know everybody yep. is loving the trucks right now. No place like home for the holidays. Gosh, these are awesome. Yep. And they can all hang on the wall. Um, wall, porch, entry. Yes. Yeah. Love them so much. Oh, I do have another one here. Here's another one of oh, the there you go. samples. Yeah. So people just use them decoratively. I mean, it yes. looks like something that I would have picked up too for like my daughter's American Girl dolls or something. Yes. Yeah, put them in kids' bedrooms. Yeah. This is a piece that he put a top on. Yep. We took the sewing machine off of there and replaced the top. It makes a I cute little desk. I love the old sewing machine bases too. Yeah, that's adorable. Our side table. Yes. Yeah. Again, another scale. We really do like the scales. Yeah, scales are awesome. This is another table that Joe built. Okay. Um, this one here, he had the top, but he wanted to make it more like a bar hook, a bar yeah. pipe. Yeah, yep. So this is good that people can put it in on their porch, if they're using an island. Yeah. And these are porch posts that he turned into. And I've noticed, I mean, just... Um, you know, I noticed, actually, if you look down that way towards Route 20, there are actually some vendors that have there are all kinds of people with stools and whatnot, too. Yes. So yes. Uh, you can kind of mix and match and put your own uh, rooms together here as you meander the field. So that's awesome. And you Good can and solid. Right. That's a good point. So. Yeah, if you have a restaurant or any kind of, or even at home, just to be able to. Absolutely. Absolutely. Huh. Love it. Gosh, so much. Go yeah. Front, um, this is one of Joe's prizes. This is a very, very old corner cabinet. Yeah, gosh, mahogany. so beautiful. Um, what year did you say that was? 1800s. And it's in that good of shape. 1800s. It's perfect. That. Look. You normally don't see that. It is right, and this all intact. Nice. Beautiful. Trunks, of course. We love trunks, too. Yes, I love trunks. I have a thing for trunks. Oh, thank you, Nicole, in here in this, in this barn. Yes. <laughs> this one here is one that we picked up. We didn't do a whole lot, so we yeah. add the drawer to it. Yep. So it was a little more functional. This could be an island, a TV stand, somebody's um, desk. Craft room, project room. I love that little accent. This is one of the things that he does a lot of times if there's a big chunk missing on it. He'll oh. add the, the license plates to it. Yeah. So this is. I love the vibe of that. We had uh, several workbenches here and we have since sold them. So. They're awesome. Good and solid. All of it. And then, of course, our Toledo scale. Which Look is at this scale. Favorite. This is 
fabulous. So it, what do you know? Anything? Do you know anything about it? Like, where would it be used, something like that? Or where's it from? We're trying to do a little more research. Yeah. Normally, these Toledo scales will weigh up to, like, 750 pounds. Oh, my gosh. This one here does not do that. The dial goes up to 125, mm -hmm. but then you can do a, a 100 pounds on their little uh, level weights down here on this. Okay on this bottom part here yep. so it, it just it's amazing and to have the glass all still intact everything's original that on it, it it's gorgeous. just and it works so i'm going to take if you don't back up too fast yes I'm gonna put my foot on look. It, you can see. <gasps> look it works oh that's gorgeous even watching the mechanism inside yes and it doesn't have the springs it, it's one of those it, it's an older one and yeah it's just amazing and then, of course, these are some of the and then more. that I do. Okay. And I'm down on those, too. We've sold quite a bit here. Yeah, these are great. Fa la 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 la. Sleigh rides in which way? And I do them from all different companies. Yeah. So, um, we're in Florida. Uh, we do Renegers down in Montauk. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll do um, St. Patty's Day. Kiss Me and I'm Irish. Okay. And those sell very well. Yep. Uh, I also do a few other ones. Merry Christmas. I have a beautiful stand that I do. It's like a street sign, okay. but it's all for um, the Grinch. Oh, fun. And there little sayings that go on there. And is it all like salvage wood, upcycle wood, generally, generally for the most part? Yes. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we, when we have custom builds and we're specific to a size, we might have to go buy conventional lumber. Yeah. But we do try to keep it as much as we can as uh, reclaimed. It's great. Just seeing everybody out and about is so fun. Well, anything else we want to highlight? Maybe just we'll just walk back in with Joe and get a little kind of sign off here. Okay. <laughs> and then you've got, what's this all? Antique this, tools? Or? This is antique tools, parts, pieces. It's just yep. a camaraderie of all do different sorts of things. Yep. We try to bring hardware and tools and that's a cuckoo clock. These so are it's just a these. variety of of things that we've picked up all the treasure you'll find gosh look at these and then our next show we're going to be in Rompo, texas yay at a stone meadow or dead people stuff yes That's awesome we'll right on the road so we're excited i'm so excited to see you there okay let's go in where there's a little shade and we'll okay. kind of sign off for now until we meet again in uh round top so we'll just, we'll get us all in here for a quick, a quick there sign off. <laughs> there we go. May and Joe Moni here, MJ Artifacts from Buffalo, New York, here at the Back of New England Motel at Brimfield. And you will find them at Dead People Stuff Stone Meadow in Round Top at the fall show as well. So Thank what a you. pleasure being able <laughs> to do you. this. I'm so glad, glad and what a beautiful day. So much to yeah. share. Um, so yeah, do tune in and find them here, future shows, and I'll share the links too so you know how, how to reach them. Thanks so much. We'll sign up for now. Shanna, Shop Glory Stay. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>